Wagon Train was one of the most groundbreaking and influential westerns to ever air. It originally aired on NBC from 1957 to 62, before jumping to ABC for another three years, before finally ending in 65. Some of the biggest names in show business ended up guest starring on the program, and its main cast members delivered some truly killer performances. Seeing as how it ended 57 years ago, it's not surprising that the majority of its cast are sadly no longer with us. Join us as we take a look at how each of the show's actors passed away. We'll also let you know which ones are still alive. Ward Bond Born April 9, 1903 as Wendell Edwin Bond, this American actor appeared in more than 200 films. Most notably, he played the wagon master Seth Adams on Wagon Train from 1957 to 60. You might also remember him as Bert the Police Officer in 1946's Christmas classic It's a Wonderful Life, or as Captain Clayton in John Ford's film The Searchers. Bond spent the first 16 years of his life in Benkelman, Nebraska. In 1919, he and his family relocated to Denver. After graduating high school, he attended the University of Southern California, where he played football on the same team as Jess Hill, the now legendary USC coach. Another one of Bond's teammates was John Wayne, who was still going by his birth name, Marion Robert Morrison. Bond and Wayne became lifelong friends, and in 1929, they were both selected to appear in a football film called Salute, directed by John Ford and starring George O'Brien. Bond and Wayne went on to appear in a number of Ford's later films. Bond enjoyed a prolific acting career, but perhaps his most notable was that of Wagon Master. Sadly, he suffered a massive heart attack on November 5, 1960, while he and his wife were staying at a hotel in Dallas. He was pronounced dead at 57. Following his death, John McIntyre was brought in to replace him in his role. John McIntyre John Herrick McIntyre was born June 27, 1907, in Spokane, Washington. At an early age, his family moved to Eureka, Montana, where he grew up around ranchers. He later used that experience to add authenticity to his performances in dozens of Western films and TV series. The biggest role of McIntyre's career was that of the wagon master on Wagon Train, Christopher Hale. He stuck with this role from 1961 to 65. He also replaced Charles Bickford on NBC's The Virginian following his death. McIntyre died from emphysema and lung cancer in Pasadena, California on January 30, 1991, at age 83. Robert Horton, still alive. Born Mead Howard Horton Jr. on July 29, 1924 in L.A., Horton grew up in a Latter-day Saint household. After graduating high school, he enlisted in the U.S. Coast Guard, but was medically discharged because of an enlarged kidney. In 1945, Horton ran into a talent scout looking for someone to play an uncredited role in the Lewis Milestone film Walk in the Sun. After being given that part, he decided to study drama at the University of Miami before transferring to UCLA, where he graduated cum laude. He then moved to New York where he struggled to find work as an actor. He eventually moved back to California and, when he was 28, landed a contract with MGM, which led to him appearing in many films. His most noteworthy TV role was that of the frontier scout Flint McCullough in Wagon Train. He played that role from 1957 to 62. He eventually quit the show to instead focus on musical theater. After he left, Robert Fuller was called in to play the scout Cooper Smith. Horton died of natural causes on the 9th of March 2016 at 91 in LA. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. And stick around for more about the cast of Wagon Train. Frank McGrath Born on February 2, 1903, McGrath was a TV and film actor and stuntman, best known for playing the comical and always optimistic white-bearded cook Charlie B. Wooster. McGrath appeared in all 272 episodes of Wagon Train. Two years after it ended, he passed away at 64 on May 13, 1967, of a heart attack in Beverly Hills. Terry Wilson Born September 3, 1923, Wilson appeared in more than 35 films and TV series. His most well-known role was on Wagon Train, in which he played the assistant trailmaster Bill Hawks. Wilson appeared in all eight seasons of the series throughout both its NBC and ABC years. After Wagon Train, he went on to appear in numerous other westerns, including the short-lived series Custer and Hondo and four episodes of The Virginian. He also had a small role in Don Knotts' western comedy film The Shakiest Gun in the West. His final film role was in 1979's The Treasure Seekers. He passed away of natural causes at age 75 in Canoga Park, California on March 30, 1999. Michael Burns, Still Alive 
Michael Thornton Burns was born December 30, 1947, in Mineola, New York. His father was a director and producer named Frank Xavier Burns, best known for his work on TV series like Private Eye and Martin Kane. At age 13, after being discovered by Lee Wallace, head of casting for 20th Century Fox, Burns made his TV debut in a 1960 episode of The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. That same year, he guest starred on Wagon Train, playing the son of Leslie Nielsen in the episode The Jeremy Dow Story. While working as an actor, Burns attended the College of William and Mary, before transferring to UCLA. He graduated summa cum laude in 1976, before obtaining his Master of Arts degree in European History. While pursuing his education, he made appearances on various TV shows and films, including Gunsmoke, Journey to Shiloh, and Thumb Tripping. He earned a Ph.D. in modern European history from Yale. In 1980, he left Hollywood behind and became a professor of history at Mount Holyoke in South Hadley, Massachusetts. Since then, he's authored a book called Dreyfus, A Family Affair. In 2002, he retired. At 74, Burns is still alive, enjoying his golden years alongside his wife, Elizabeth. Scott Miller Born Dennis Lynn Miller on April 25, 1934, Miller was an actor best known for his role as Duke Shannon on Wagon Train. He was discovered on Sunset Boulevard by a Hollywood talent scout while he was attending the University of California. He signed with MGM and was the first blonde actor to play Tarzan in the 1959 film Tarzan the Ape Man. After appearing in several westerns, including Have Gun, Will Travel and The Rifleman, Miller was cast on Wagon Train in 1961. He was a series regular until 64. After being diagnosed with ALS in January of 2014, Miller died in Las Vegas on September 9, 2014, at age 80. Robert Fuller Originally named Leonard Leroy Lee, Fuller was born July 29, 1933, in Troy, New York. When he was six, his family moved to Key West, Florida. There, his parents owned a dance school, and from an early age, Fuller cultivated a deep love for acting and dance. Fuller dropped out of Key West High School at age 14. Two years later, he traveled to Hollywood with his family, where he was given his first job in the entertainment industry as a stuntman. After changing his name to Robert Fuller and joining the Screen Actors Guild, he started his acting career with a small role in the 1952 film Above and Beyond. Fuller really stepped into his element once he landed TV roles guest starring on westerns. During his five decades on TV, Fuller was known for his booming, raspy voice. In the 60s, he was a very familiar face for American TV audiences, especially after being given the role of Scout Cooper Smith on Wagon Train. He appeared on it for seasons 7 and 8. After Wagon Train ended, Fuller was also known for starring in the 1970s medical drama series Emergency as the lead Dr. Kelly Brackett. As of 2022, Fuller is still alive at age 88. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite character on Wagon Train? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.